Hey, it's Becca. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, I cannot believe that it's still snowing uh, in Edmonton, Canada. So uh, hopefully you all have a little bit more sunshine in your day. This class is specifically dedicated to my shirt. I love my shirt and in fact it says love. Uh, Maybe not the love that you're thinking for other people, which I think is wonderful. We all need to, of course, embrace other people. But more importantly, this is a class or a session based around developing a bit more self-love. One of the keys to living life to the fullest and to understand your unlimited potential and opportunities is to find that place within yourself that you absolutely love, that you connect with, that you yoga with, that you create that union with. And I think once we have that inside of ourselves, as the saying goes, then we can love other people to the full potential. But without that self-love, it's pretty difficult to make really good choices in life as well as to really just get a sense of who we are so we can take that into our families, communities, and also the rest of the world. So I'm super excited for this 30-minute vinyasa flow based around self-love. Uh, opening heart chakra as well as throat and moving, of course, into front body just so that we have a bit more expansiveness and openness. So we're going to take it to the top of the mat into our Tadasan. And if you're new to my classes, I generally mirror you. So when I say right leg, you'll notice that it's my left leg, but we'll all be um, twisting and turning in the same direction so that you don't get lost with what we're doing, okay? So uh, base of the toes to touch, heels a little bit apart, shoulder blades roll back, and the heart lifts. The biggest thing here is not to over um, accentuate the heart lift, but to really just find a neutral spine where it's like the top of the head is reaching and the feet are absolutely rooted and grounded. And let's just take it slow for the first few minutes. So let's inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, palms touching, and take the hands into the heart center as you reverse the prayer into Uttanasana, coming into a forward fold. Keep the thumbs resting into the third eye. Let the head gently ragdoll down. So third eye is in between the eyebrows. Soften up the knees if you need to. Keep them straight, whatever feels good. And just pedal out the legs a little bit, letting the hips move side to side. So we're connecting with our intuitiveness, our true self, our wisdom right from third eye. And then inhale, you can bring hands to your shins as you elongate, opening up through the heart, or you can plant your fingertips onto the floor, bend out through the knees, and let's step it back with our left foot all the way to the back of the mat. Big, big step, knee over ankle, inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. So we'll just start here. Exhale, take the hands down to the floor. Step it up to the top of the mat into chair pose, sit down, inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, belly to thighs, arms reach back behind you, chin is tucked, inhale, reach your arms up. Palms face backwards if you can to open up the heart, inhale. Rise those arms up to the sky. Exhale, fall forward. And this time, just keep a bend in your knee, belly button to thighs, interlock your hands, and press your arms up towards the sky, just to stretch out through the shoulders and the back of the neck, bringing the weight still into the heels a little bit further, toes curling up towards the ceiling. Just letting the neck relax a little bit, getting into the shoulder joints, lower down the hands to the low back. Inhale, sweep them up, and we'll hold it here. If your shoulders are really sore today, open up through those arms, right? It's okay. The broader, the better. We're trying to uh, embrace something beautiful on the front side of the body. You can also reach those arms straight up or maybe straight forward. Come up out of the lunge or you can stay down low. Holding here for three. Opening up the heart for two. And for one, exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana, letting yourself bow to your internal wisdom. Inhale, hands to shins or earth, half lift. Exhale, fingertips to the floor, bend out. We'll step it back with the opposite leg. So now your right leg's going to step back and your left leg will be forward. Left leg on left side, right leg on right side. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up towards the sky, not holding here too long. And then exhale, land your hands down. We're stepping it back, upper push-up position. So take those palms firmly down to the earth, feeling your upper back pressing gently to the sky, and you can feel your heels elongating towards the back of your mat. Elbows draw into the rib cage, down to the floor we go. So let your chest come forward slightly, use your thighs and bring yourself all the way down to the floor. Point your toes away, roll back your shoulder heads. You can choose to do a little cobra here if you like. If you wanna go a little further, press into your hands and make your way into a 
uh, full cobra, not a baby cobra. As you're pressing down your fingertips, elbows drawing into the sides of the body, then right from here, tuck your toes under and bring yourself into a downward facing dog. Allowing your heels to press down to the floor, your rib cage draws into the body. So try not to hang in this posture. Find a little bit more strength. Fingertips rooted in towards the earth. Elongating, breathing. Yeah, it's just finding a little bit of that space in through the spine. And then take that gaze forward. You can either step it, jump it, hop it, all the way up to the top of the mat, whatever you'd like to do. As you elongate up, you'll inhale, half lift, and exhale, forward fold. Come up to standing. So swan dive all the way up, palms to touch, and exhale, sit it back down into a chair. Inhale, rise your spine up. Exhale, take left elbow to right knee. So take the twist. Inhale, bring those arms straight up to the sky and open, maybe subtle back bend. Exhale, take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. One more cycle. Inhale, reach those arms up and exhale, take your left elbow to your right knee and hold it here. And as you're holding, put all of your weight into the right foot and take your left heel in towards your sit bone. Maybe today you've got to keep your foot tapping down. Maybe you keep it elevated. Hold it here. Slide the leg over to the side, let your hands come back to center, drop your fingertips down, come up onto your right toes. Sit yourself down onto your right heel and elongate out your left toes towards the sky. Everyone with me there? Okay, so bring your hands into prayer. Woo! You're going to find a little bit of balance here, maybe, maybe not, as you gently keep your right knee open and flex up through your foot. So inhale, arms come up, and exhale, tap to the right side. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, go right. Inhale, arms come up. And exhale, all the way over. Good. Walk your hands back to center. Take your right knee down to the floor so it's facing forward. I'm going to turn away from you for a minute, working through the back side or the underside of your right foot. Spin around towards the left. And as you do so, feel your heart moving forward. So don't drop your face to your knee. Go super long, allowing your spine to lengthen your face is moving towards your foot, not your knee, for three. Getting into the bottom of the toes of your right foot and your hamstring on the left. Then bring your hands all the way back to center. Come up onto your toes, draw those knees all the way in together. Walk the hands over towards the right side. We're going right into side crow. Your option today is to stay with the twist that we've just been working on when we were in our um, uh, Utkatasan, or you can take your hands to the floor and work on a one-armed or a two-armed side crow. If you're going two-armed, lift up that back hip, let your bum land above the elbow, and lift up those knees. That's the option, right? You can also start to play a little bit with what you want to do here in your pose. Holding here for three, two, and one. Bring those knees together. Take the feet all the way down towards the floor. Open up through your knees, shoulder blades back, keep your heels touching, hands into prayer, and pull through the belly and the perineum, right? So the pelvic floor comes up, opening up through the heart, and lift up. Now if you can, you can have your hands in prayer, or maybe you take your left hand to your heart, and your right hand to your belly, and just breathe for three. And two, lifting up the pelvis up off of your heels, one more inhale. Lower yourself all the way back down. Bring your hands to the floor. And you can step and jump it back into an upper push-up position. Lower down through Chaturanga. Upward dog cobra. Flare the heart high. And all the way back into your downward facing dog. So just watching that your dog is not so long that you feel like your heels are so far back behind you. Walk them in, and it's almost like this, the, the tip of the sacrum is the highest point. Sit bones, not so much. That's almost, uh, only very few people can actually do that. So it's really the anchoring of your um, tailbone down towards the floor and your sacrum up to the sky. Holding here, take that gaze forward, and you can choose to take a step or a hop or a jump or a float all the way up to the top of the mat. Inhale, hands to shins or earth, and exhale, forward fold. Come up to standing. So we'll swan dive back up, palms are touching, and the hands in towards the heart center. All right, inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, sit down into a chair and pause it out here. Take your left elbow to your right knee. 
Good. Inhale, come on up to standing. Exhale, take your right elbow to left knee. Good. Inhale, rise it up. One more time, either side, go over towards the right side. All right, inhale, rise it up. Exhale, over we go. We're going to hang out here, opening up through the heart just a little bit further. Back body, front body. You can take all of the weight into your left foot. Take your right heel in towards your sit bone and hold it here. Pause it. Breathe it. Good. Now slowly take that leg all the way over towards the side. Take your hands back to center, hands to the earth. Come up onto your left toes and settle yourself down. So it's right heel out to the side and left knee open. All right, we got it. So bring your hands into prayer. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, over left. Inhale up. Whew, little imbalance today. And exhale over towards the left. Inhale up, and exhale over. Walk your hands all the way to center. Now take your left knee and bring it straight forward. Depends what's going on with your toes. You might choose to keep them there or to point them away. As we reach our heart around towards the right side, inhale, elongate. Feel like someone's got a string at the center of your heart pulling you forward, gently bringing yourself down, face towards the shin. For three. And two. And one. Finding just a little bit more depth as you walk your hands all the way back upright. Come onto your left toes. Bring those knees all the way together. We're working it through your side crow towards the left side. So once again, one arm, two arms. You find whatever works best for you. I did two arms on the other side. I'll do a one arm on this side. As you lift up through those feet, choosing the variation, right? Holding here for three. And for two, and one, bring those feet all the way back down towards earth. Take the knees out nice and wide. Good, holding here, palms to touch. We're coming up a little higher in the V position with those legs. The key is to keep rolling back through the chest. Keep the heart open, use the core, come on up. So holding here for three, and for two, and one, come up to standing, take those knees in and the heels out, stay up on your toes if possible. Keep the gaze forward, drishti really solid, that's where you're gazing. And then take the heels to the floor as you inhale. Reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center, down towards the earth. Let your chin tuck in last. Inhale, elongate out your spine. Exhale, palms to the floor, step and jump it back, chaturanga or upper push up, your option. And then flow it out, inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Finding just that real strong spine, almost feeling like the arms are pressing together and then up towards the ceiling while your index and thumb and pinky root in towards the floor. Take your right thigh up towards the sky. Think long, not high. Take your knee in towards your chest and step it up to the top of the mat. So make sure right foot to right thumb, yeah? Inhale, reach your arms up. Good. Exhale, take the hands back behind you. Interlock them. Press the fist towards the back of the mat. Feel your chin tucking in top of the headlong and your heel is pressing towards the back of the room. Now let's go deeper, shall we? Take your shoulder to the inside of your knee. Drop your chin. Let the head move towards the floor and the arms reach up over top of your head. Now watch your hips See exactly. If your hips stick out towards the right side, you will have no balance here. So keep that right hip tucking under slightly so you can elongate out through your spine. Holding here for three, for two, and then for one. Roll your spine, coming all the way back up. Keep the hands to the low back, right? So you're going to just keep them very close towards your body. Warrior three, come forward. Let that back thigh lift. Good, holding here. Opening up through the chest and feeling the shoulder blades roll together. One more big in breath, come up to standing, take the knee in towards the chest and take your arms out into cactus arms. Bending out through the knee and take the left thigh all the way up and over into eagle legs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a bit of a challenge to get that leg wrapped around if you need to, or you can drop the foot to the floor, right? Okay, so here we are in cactus arms and eagle legs. <laughs> And then take your left arm underneath your right. Wrap them like ropes and feel like you just elevated up the elbows and the palms come up to the sky. 
Draw back the shoulders, lift up through the heart, lift the gaze up a little bit further, elbows come up a little higher. For three. For two. And for one, keep your arms exactly as they are. We're going back to warrior three. So the knee comes up and you extend out the leg all the way. So from your heel to your head to your fingertips, you're one long line. Draw down the left hip for three. Good. For two, you guys got this. And for one, bend out through the front knee. Step it back. Inhale, reach up. You're drawing your elbows down to the floor. So draw them all the way down. Mm -hmm. Inhale, come back up. When you do this, elongate up through the heart, straighten out the back thigh, but keep the front knee bent. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, come up. Just one more time. Here we go. Take an exhale. Draw it all the way forward and hold it here. You can let the hands go and make your way into your lizard pose. Otherwise, just stay here with some strength. Tucking right hip under, left hips rolling forward for three and two. And one, slowly release those arms to either side of that front foot and you'll step it back, upper push-up position. Let's flow it out, come down through Chaturanga. Let your heart rise up into upper dog cobra, even baby cobra, and bring it back into downward facing dog. So let's take it to the knees, quick child's pose. Let yourself sit back first, pull the belly in, and then elongate over top of your thighs. If possible, let your arms come out in front, let the elbows rest down, let the forehead come down towards the floor. Just feeling the vibrations that you've created, the positivity, the ringing out, the letting go, and also the letting in. Letting in the positivity, letting in the love, letting in the light. We need more of that so we can fill up, right? I feel so empty sometimes because I'm giving, giving, giving. It's a beautiful thing to give, but we also have to learn how to receive, right? So we're just really finding that space right now where we can chill out. This is all about you. Good, let those hands come up to the top of the mat, root down, and slowly bring yourself forward back into your downward facing dog as the heels move towards the earth. Let's take the left leg up towards the sky. Three limb dog, we go, gaze it forward and step it up left foot all the way to the thumb. Make sure the foot kind of just taps down, right? Good, so take an inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, take the hands back behind you, interlock less dominant grip, and press your fist towards the back of the rim and hold here. Feeling the chin moving in and the top of the head going forward. Good. Back leg completely solid, front knee nice and bent, drawing the shoulder down towards the inside of the knee. Tucking through the chin, letting those arms come up towards the sky. Let your left hip draw under while your right hip draws forward. Yes, yeah, so let your gaze maybe be in the center of your mat so you can elongate the back of your neck a little further. Holding here for three. Back leg super strong for two. And then for one, bring yourself up, but draw those forearms to the low back and the fists are pressing down towards the floor. Come forward, warrior three. So here we go. Lifting up through your right leg. Left leg super solid. Sometimes it takes a few tries, right? So keep elevating the heart. The worst thing we can do here is to just drop out through the shoulders. It really causes a lot of weight on the hips. So feel like you just pulled up out of the waist. Good, holding here, one more big inhale. Come up to standing, take your right knee in towards your chest. Let your arms go into cactus arms and bend out through the left knee. I'm sweating, okay. So take your right thigh over top of the left. You can drop your foot to the floor or take the toes all the way around. Sometimes, like I said, it takes a little bit of effort there, but away we go. Right arm goes underneath the left. Elbows lift up. You can lift the gaze slightly if you like. Holding here and sitting down, feeling everything compressing. Mm -hmm. There's going to be new blood flowing into the joints, into your tissues, into your muscles. Finding a drishti, calm down the heart rate. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. We're holding here with the arms as you take your knee up, moving it back into a warrior three. So the leg goes straight back in the air behind you. And as you do this, toes and fingertips moving in opposite directions, elbows move away from your chest, 
Shoulder blades roll away, holding here. So broaden out through the back. One more bit, inhale. Bend out through your front knee, step into the back of the mat. Inhale, draw those elbows up and the heart lifts. Exhale, elbows down towards the floor, possibly. Tucking through the chin, two more times. Inhale, lift on up. Good, exhale, come on forward. You don't have to go fast to feel this pose for sure. Good, one more time. Inhale, lift on up. Maybe hold here just for that little bit more of elongation. Elbows up, back thigh super strong. And then take the elbows down a little bit further and you're gonna hold here. Maybe you let the hands drop down. Maybe you can feel just the strength of those legs. It's up to you. Maybe your back knee is down, I don't know. It's whatever you feel like you need to do. Holding here for three and for two. And for one, slowly just release those arms, hands to either side, and step it back up or push-up position. Move it into downward facing dog. Lifting those hips. Feeling the heels from down towards the floor. All right, nice. Stretching out through the upper back so you feel the outer arms rolling down towards the floor in your downward dog, rooting through your fingertips. Good, gaze it forward. You'll step it or take a float up to the top of the mat. Finding the hips over top of the wrists, just a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. So look down at your big toe mounds. This is a very traditional classic yoga posture. It is peace fingers to your big toes. Wrap from the inside, thumbs on top. Create a little bit of a lock, right? So bend the knees to start. Inhale, lengthen. Straighten out your spine, look forward. Right? Feel this whole energy moving towards the top of your mat. And then bend your knees and allow yourself to drape forward into Uttanasana. Uttanasana, forward folding, allowing the head to move towards the floor. Hand to big toe pose. Here we are, pulling through the belly, elongating elbows up to the side for three. Relaxing your head out for two, bringing your chest closer to your thighs for one. One more big inhale. And as you exhale, just start to soften, release your grip. Inhale brings you up, exhale brings you back down. Come up to standing, all the way up we go. Hands into the heart. Inhale, rise it up, base of the toes a little closer if you like. Exhale, bring the hands down through the heart. Cultivating self-love. Inhale, hands to shins or floor. All right, bring your palms down, prepare. Step it, jump it back, upper push-up to order chaturanga. Lifting up those hips so you can bring down. Shoulders in line with elbows. Point the toes away and lift. And then bring it back into downward facing dog. Right leg up towards the sky. Gaze it forward and step it up. Right foot to your thumb. Take your back foot, hop it up, and land it flat so your heel to heel warrior two. Let your left arm go forward. Windmill up nice and slow. Right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back, and sit down. I like to heel toe my feet out just a little bit wider. Tail's very neutral. Mm -hmm. So watch that your bum is not sticking out. Sorry for that. But your bum goes in, okay? Knee comes out slightly, yeah? So you can see your first and second toe. Then reach those arms open. Feel like your armpits come up a little bit too, yeah? So palms up first, then drop down your palms. Sit with that rib cage in towards the body. Holding here. One more big inhale. Good, let's go all the way into um, bow and arrow. So take your back hand, reach it around towards the front. Pull back that arrow, lift up your hand towards the sky. Good, bring it all the way forward. Arms reach forward, sweep it all the way around, and look where you're going. Good. Reach that arm up to the sky. Palms to touch. Bring it back. Really feel like you are bow and arrowing something important in your life. Bring it all the way forward. Arms come together. Circulate that hand all the way back. Watch where it's going. Bring that arm up to the sky. Palms to touch. Last time, yeah? Elbow comes back. Bow and arrow reach up and hold here. Feel the elongation in through the whole right side of the body. You can almost feel the stretching of all of the fascia there. Mm -hmm. It helps us breathe. One more big inhale. Good. Let's bring ourselves all the way back up. Arms come together. Open this up. Look where you're going. And hold it here, palms face down. Nice. 
One more big inhale, Adho Chandrasana, take your back hand to your hip. Walk your back leg in. You're going to send your right fingertips, kitty corner, to your right pinky toe. Away we go. Open up through the heart. Take your left hand up towards the sky if you want to go a little bit further. Open up your hips so much that you're using the outer glute and the toes point up towards the sky. If you want to go further, move this into a dancer's pose. So take hold of your ankle. Kick back behind you. Take your heart forward. Look up towards the sky for three. Kick a little harder, getting into the stretch for two. You're only here for one more big breath in. Then if you've got hold of your foot, take that leg out to the side, arm comes up, and slowly bend your front knee and step into the back of the mat, your warrior two. Good, windmill those hands down to the floor. Step it back with an elongated right leg. Good, flow it out if you like. You can also just go to downward facing dog as you take your hips all the way back. All right, holding here, feeling the heart completely opening the back part of the heart as the heels move down to the floor. Good, holding here, gaze it forward. You're gonna jump into a squat at the top of your mat. So into a toe squat we go. You can either step or take that hop, right? Lifting up through those hips and land into toe squat, okay? It's crow pose time. Knees come open. Here's the difference. Okay, crow pose, a lot of times we think of it being like a core pose. It can be, and an arm balance for sure, right? But think today of it being a, a, a heart opener. So it's like the heart goes forward, countering the backside, right? So you're gonna go long, long with your face, long with the energy. So if you're struggling with crow, it's the biggest advice I can give is not to think about hunching up through the core, but to think about becoming super expansive, like as if you have unlimited boundaries around you, okay? I'm yelling because I'm so excited right now, okay? So hands down to the floor, lift up through your hips, and maybe you're working with the knees to the back sides, that's a bit advanced. You can take your knees more to the outside edges of those arms as well, finding a little bit more space, holding it out here, lean forward, right? One foot lifts up then the other. Now here's the thing, peel your heart forward, Lift up those toes in towards the sit bone. Pull the belly in for three, two, and one. You can take yourself back into upper push-up or right into chaturanga, elongating out through the spine, lengthening up. Inhale, and bring it all the way back into downward facing dog. All right, one more big inhale. Good, take your left leg up towards the sky. So you're going longer, not higher. Gaze forward, knee to chest, and then step it up to the top of the mat. Take your back foot flat down to the floor, ankle to ankle, and slightly turn your toes in towards the front of the mat, yeah? Then the right arm reaches forward. Left hip is tucked under, so when you come up, your shoulders are in line with your hip and your knee. I know it's a lot of alignment, but honestly, this is really hard on the hips, right? Sitting here like this or leaning forward, you're into some weird areas, so keep the body super neutral. You'll like that better, I think. And those arms reach forward and back. Maybe uh, armpits, yeah? Armpits up towards the ceiling. Super strong for the back thigh, and then palms can go down. Bend it out a little bit more. See your first and second toe. Good, bow and arrow we go. Okay, so take the arm around first. Then reach it back. Then reach it up. Good, come forward. Take that arm forward all the way around. Now watch where you're going and send that arm up towards the ceiling. Reach it around, palms almost touching, send it back. Feel like you're pulling and then lengthen. Good, arms come back. Send that arm forward, reach it all the way around. Look back, one more cycle. Arm comes all the way up and around. Good, slingshot it back, you're gonna hold here, right? So feel, strengthen your arms, right? This is not like li, 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 hang out. This is really solid, right? We're holding here, legs are strong, feeling all the stretch in the left side of the body. I love it, love it. Good, one more big inhale. Good, and slowly bring yourself all the way back here, all the way in, and you can open up your arms again, palms face down. Look over your front fingers, Adho Chandrasana, okay? So half moon, hand on your hip, Take your back foot in, especially if you're struggling to come forward, right? And then send your fingertips to the outside edge of your left pinky toe. 
Some of you will have your, your hips facing down because of a little bit of immobility, it's fine. But otherwise, try and roll that top hip, and then when you get there, you can take your right hand up towards the sky. It's a very strong posture. Mm-hmm. It's good to do against the wall sometimes too, so you can gain where you need to be. Maybe you move this into a dancer's pose, okay? So you can take your knee in your chest, grab onto your ankle, and pull back your heart. As you open it up, feel your leg kicking behind you. Maybe take the gaze up to the ceiling. For three, kick a little harder. Yeah, you're only here for like one more big breath in. Ah, and then as you exhale, take that leg, step it all the way back when you're ready. So slow, slow, slow. Good, and then open up your arms. Shoulders right over top of hips and sit down. You're only here one last big breath in. Nice, and slowly windmill those arms down to the floor. Step it back with an extended left leg. So pull up and step it back and then flow or go to downward dog. Right? Nice. Beautiful. Let's take it to another quick child's pose. Let your knees go wide. Point your toes away, settle your hips down towards your heels, and then slowly start to walk yourself forward, letting your belly and chest come in towards your thighs and your face towards the floor. Maybe even gently pressing back through your hips. Good, one more big inhale. And one more big exhale. Nice. Rolling your spine, coming all the way back up again. Beautiful. Nicely done. Let's take the knees together. Side saddle out through those hips and take the legs all the way out in front. All right. So take your right knee in your chest. You can send the foot over towards the left side, just gently stretching out some of the stuff. Right fingertips behind you, still feeling the heart moving towards the right side. Good, holding here for one more big in-breath. And as you exhale, one more big twist, looking over your back shoulder. And then bring it back to center. Root down through your right hand. Switch legs, so now you'll lean back, you'll have your right leg go down, left leg goes up and over, modified side plank, roll, inhale, take your left hand up. Good, surrender your hand towards the back of your, the mat and feel like you're lifting up the heart a little bit further, maybe even starting to do a subtle back bend. One more big in breath. Bring yourself all the way back up, lower yourself all the way back down. Take those feet in front of you, walk them in a little bit. Hands come behind you, reverse tabletop or take this to Parvatanasana, which is reverse push-up, right? So you can either choose feet hip width apart and go up into reverse tabletop, or take those legs forward. Shoulder blades roll back, but more importantly, take those elbows in towards the back. Then fire up through the hands and your heels. Bring those inner thighs in and lift up. Feeling a pure opening in through the heart and through the throat. The gaze is lifted for three, for two, and for one. Lower yourself all the way back down. So beautiful, right? It feels so good. And then take your hands and interlock them around your left knee. Take the foot to the outer edge of your right foot or out, uh, outer edge of your right knee. Left hand behind you. Inhale up, right hand goes. Elbow to the outer edge and take the twist. Yeah, feeling your heart go really long. So it's the top of the head going high. So you're not leaning on that hand, right? Good, one more big breath in. And as you bring it all the way back to center, take your left leg long. Keep your left hand rooted. Take your right foot over. Big step as you roll. Then inhale up. Your right hand goes. Send it over towards the back of your mat and take your heart up towards the sky. Mmm, so good for three. Lift the hips a little higher for two. And then for one, bring yourself all the way back around. Okay, so your option today is to go into Upward Bow, right, if you're familiar with that, or Little Bridge, yeah? So if it's Little Bridge, you're on your back, and you're just allowing your hips to rise up towards the sky. You could interlock your hands underneath you and feel your feet super grounded and your chin moves away from your chest, and you can hold there for a few breaths. If you're moving this into Urdhva Dhanurasana, you can root down through your big toe mounds and your heels. 
Pulling through your hands, come behind your head, or I should say by the ears, fingertips facing towards your shoulders. I like to take my heels out a little bit because they spin in when I do my upward bow. So here we go. One more big inhale. As you exhale, push yourself up onto the top of your head. Hold it out there. Get your hands where they need to be. Root down through your big toe mounts and press yourself up. So you can choose to stay here for three, for two. Watch that your knees are not bowing out. Pull them in a little bit. And for one, slowly start to make your way all the way down to the top of the head. Then lift up, tuck your chin, and roll your spine back down. Do not bring your knees in towards your chest quite yet. Let your arms go open and just windmill your legs side to side, okay? Um, just so you're not going forward, back, forward, back, forward, back with your spine. Good. Let it neutralize. One more big inhale. Mm, that's very powerful. I love that. I love that posture. Like I love it and I don't love it, you know what I mean? And take the knees in towards the chest. And just rock a little bit. Awesome. So you can stay down onto your back. I'm going to roll up here. Um, you can choose to go into your Shavasana from there. You can choose to continue on with more Vinyasa or simply do some um, laying twists or any type of other seated postures for uh, finishing up your session today. I really truly hope that you found a little place within your heart that you can um, expose a little bit more to the world. I know that uh, just being here with you has filled me up greatly and uh, I really appreciate your time. To all of you out there, mwah, namaste.